Hi, Aquarius. <clears throat> you are fixed air. And I'm going to do a reading for you. I just realized that I have been spending so much time doing um, readings for other signs and um, doing the chats for um, Aquarius that I really haven't done um, a collective reading. So this reading is going to be for first, second, and third deacon Aquarians. Um, <clears throat> if you find, if you were born between January the 21st and the 29th, you may find that you're one of these true, um, pure Aquarians. Um, you're ruled by, uh, ruled by Saturn and Uranus. Um, you would be very imaginative, very creative, very determined to overcome obstacles, very unique. Basically the most typical, okay, of the Aquarians. Now the second deacon Aquarians are a little bit different. Um, you would be born between January the 30th and February the 8th, I think. Anyway. So this would be the second deacon Aquarians. Um, communication is really like a big thing for you. You're really good communicators. Um, you're often attracted to the exact opposite of what you want. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, the third deacon Aquarians <coughs> are born between, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, February the 9th and February the 18th. <clears throat> These are a different breed altogether. It is very difficult to read these Aquarians. I um I can't uh <clears throat> I think they're a little more secretive <clears throat> than the other Aquarians. Chris, we're gonna use the Rider Wake deck. Um as I'm not completely used to the Thelema deck yet. Um, but we will gradually be getting into it. So, what is going on with our fixed air signs, please? What's going on for the collective? For the collective fixed air sign. Take half this deck. What's at issue? What's at issue for Aqua? What's at issue for Aqua, please? All right, communication. Weren't we just talking about that? So this could be a love message coming in. It could also be um, a Sagittarius, okay, wanting to get to you. Um, wow. Guys, uh, this is related to, whoa. Um, this is related to your true love, your soulmate. All right, whether that's a Sag or not, it's communication. Um, this prob this person probably, um, th this is your right spiritual choice. They haven't expressed yet how they feel about you. My goodness. Uh, all right. It's finding out what's crossing you, what's in your way. It doesn't look like anything's in your way at all. What is the obstacle for our collective Aquarians? What's the obstacle for our collective Aquarians? What's the obstacle for our collective Aquarians? What's in Aquarius's way? What's in Aquarius's way? Okay, so we're gonna have to look at the bottom of the deck. options okay so you may have a lot of options or the other person may have a lot of options or you may just be confused as to whether or not this is the right person okay you do you guys do tend to analyze it yeah you're wondering is this the right person all right uh should should i put the work in <laughs> um what's crowning the reading for aquarius here What's crowning the reading for Aquarius? What's crowning the reading for Aquarius? Hmm. 
think I'm going to have to take from the Thelema deck. Being forced to do it. What is crowning Aquarius's reading, please, here? What is crowning Aquarius's reading? Okay, two things. Nice. Okay. Um, Aquarius, um, there is a female fire sign um, that's crowning your reading. This could be for a male Aquarius that I'm reading. Um, yep, I'm reading for a male. And that's why the Knight of Swords came out because I was expecting the star. And the Knight of Swords came out. So uh, this could be a reunification um, with, uh, okay, so it could be a reunification um, with a male Aquarius and an Aries. It still could be a female Aquarius and a Sag, okay? Um, still kind of fits. Okay, let's see uh, what's in your subconscious mind, Aqua, whether you're male or female. What's going through? How are you affecting this subconsciously? All right. Yeah, you're kind of, uh, you're not, again, you haven't made up your mind about whether or not this person is meeting these four corners of commitment for you. And that is interesting because that goes right along with these, uh, with the challenge. All right. Let's find out what's in the recent past that affected this. What happened in the recent past that's relevant to this situation for Aqua? I feel like something flipped there. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, okay, so a major cycle ended. Okay. Um, you may have started to build uh, together. Um, did it a little too quickly. Okay. Um, somebody came very cold and cutting. That could have been you, Aqua. Um, and then the guilt. <laughs> um, so it's kind of it's as fast as it started. I still feel like you have love for this person and they have love for you. A cancer could be involved. Gemini could be involved. Capricorn. Yeah, or some kind of a fire sign. What's coming up in the near future for Aqua? What's coming up in the near future for Aqua? I'm going to find out who that five cups is in a minute. What's coming up in the near future for Aqua, please? Yeah, a lot of erratic competition, um, possibly some arguing. Um, I'll get a clarification on that card, too. I just want to know who's feeling guilty over here. Who is in the Five of Cups there in the past? Who's in the Five of Cups position in the past? Who's feeling so bloody guilty and missing Aqua like crazy? Who is feeling like they spilled all the cups? Who is feeling like they spilled all the cups? There we go. Oh, you. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about that. This is going to turn out fine. I'm going to clarify. Okay, Aqua, we're going to clarify the... Um, this is Saturn in um, Leo in the future. A uh, Leo could be causing you some trouble in the future. Um, some competition. Ugh. Okay, let's just clarify this um, with half of the Thelema, uh, the Thelema deck. What is this card doing here? What is Saturn and Leo doing here? What does this mean as a future event for Aquarius? There we go. We got it. Yeah, I think you're going to get, get, if you're involved with the Leo, you're going to get so sick of it. Or it could be that you're single. Um, you know, th this is Venus in Virgo. This is the woman who's doing great on her own. All right. There could be a lot of competition over you in the future. That would be nice. Okay. I think Leo would be in there fighting over you. 
Um, what are your tools to get to where you want to go? What are your tools to get to where you want to go? What tools should be used by Aqua to get to where they want to go? What tools should be used with Aqua? Getting a tool. What tools should Aqua be using to get to where they want to go in this situation? Maybe you don't want to go. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, I think you want to go toward a fire sign, or you just want a brand new beginning and you want something with some passion in it. Sorry, guys, something else fell. Again! Um, your tools is the two of swords is that you don't want to be the one to make the decision. You don't want to be the one to, to be backed into the corner uh, to make that decision. You don't want to base it on emotion or intellect. You want to use your intuition um, about this fire sign. All right, let's keep going. What are the outside influences on this situation? What's affecting the situation from the outside? That is a Capricorn or an earth sign or someone who will not make up their decision, will not make up their mind about something. They're wavering back and forth. Can we get a clarification on that? They will not make a decision. Yeah, they're guarded. Uh, this could be the Sag. This person is devoted to you, though. Devoted to you. All right, we're going to get your hopes and fears. Whatever is the, whatever is the stronger energy. Aqua's hopes and or fears. Whatever is the stronger energy, please, in this situation. Well, there it is for certain. Uh... I think you want a major transformation. I don't think this is you fearing an ending. I think you want something to change drastically. Let's see if it will. Let's get the outcome here. What is the outcome for Aqua? Scorpio could be involved. What is the outcome for Aqua in this situation? Please, there it is. For better or for worse. Oh. Okay. Oh. Aqua, um, you're still not, this is because you're not going to make a decision. This is a to be continued. This is you up all night worrying. Why? Why is Aqua up all night worrying and not sleeping? Why? Why is Aqua up all night worrying and not sleeping? Why? Why is Aqua up all night worrying and not sleeping? I feel like, you know what, for some of you, um, I feel like it's because the person hasn't expressed emotion. Um, for others of you, It's something that has not been put into words that you can't figure out. Uh, I want a clarification card on this. For First Deacon Aquarius first. What does this mean? For First Deacon Aquarius. Why is this here? Why is this here for our First Deacons? Why is this here for our First Deacons? Because you feel trapped. You feel trapped in a marriage. Why? Why is Jupiter in Gemini there for first deacons? Why is Jupiter in Gemini? It has something to do with family, I feel like. Why is Jupiter in Gemini there for first deacons? Uh has something to do with an earth sign. It's possibly that the earth sign is married and you can't make a darn move. Second Deacon Aquarians, why? 
Why do we have this Ace of Cups here that looks rather heavenly? Why is the Ace of Cups there that looks heavenly? Almost like the dove is flying out of it. Uh, that's it. It's, it's something you don't know that's plaguing you. It's a mystery. Um, that's, you feel like you'll never figure it out. Something else fell. Yeah, it was a decision that was made in the past. All right? A decision that was made to do something, but it never came to fruition. You don't even know what the decision was. Um, okay. Third Deacon Aquarians. Why was that Ace of Cups there with the dove flying out and not in? I'm seeing the cards up now. Why was the Ace of Cups there with the dove flying out and not in for our third deacons? All right, this is a little more complicated. Uh, because uh, you, the third deacons are waiting. Um, they can't stand the wait. Um, they're hoping for someone to ex put something into motion. They're up all night. They emotionally invested into the situation. They're waiting, waiting, waiting. She's looking up like, when is this going to pay off? Let's get an overall message for our collective Aquarians about this situation. Nice. Well, for all of you, this is beautiful. I don't think you could ask for better than this. Ace of Pentacles. No matter what, I feel like um, those of you, oh, and look, there's pillars there. The people that wanted the information, you're going to get it. Somehow it's related to money. Um, for those of you um, that wanted your love offering, that's coming. Um, and for the people that were waiting at Ditto. So it looks like a beautiful outcome, but there's going to be some loss of sleep, some worrying and some waiting at the end, but a beautiful ending for all Deacon Aquarians. Okay, guys, I love you. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you are a new air sign, please hit subscribe. Bye. Second Deacon Aquarians, why? Why do we have this Ace of Cups here that looks rather heavenly? Why is the Ace of Cups there that looks heavenly? Almost like the dove is flying out of it. Uh, that's it. It's, it's something you don't know that's plaguing you. It's a mystery. Um, that's, you feel like you'll never figure it out. Something else fell. Yeah, it was a decision that was made in the past. All right? A decision that was made to do something, but it never came to fruition. You don't even know what the decision was. Um, okay. Third Deacon Aquarians, why was that Ace of Cups there with the dove flying out and not in? I'm seeing the cards up now. Why was the Ace of Cups there with the dove flying out and not in for our third deacons? All right, this is a little more complicated. Uh, because uh, you, the third deacons are waiting. Um, they can't stand the wait. Um, they're hoping for someone to ex put something into motion. They're up all night. They emotionally invested into the situation. They're waiting, waiting, waiting. She's looking up like, when is this going to pay off? Let's get an overall message for our collective Aquarians about this situation. Nice. Well, for all of you, this is beautiful. I don't think you could ask for better than this. Ace of Pentacles. No matter what, I feel like um, those of you, oh, and look, there's pillars there. The people that wanted the information, you're going to get it. Somehow it's related to money. Um, for those of you um, that wanted your love offering, that's coming. Um, and for the people that were waiting at Ditto. 
So it looks like a beautiful outcome, but there's going to be some loss of sleep, some worrying and some waiting at the end, but a beautiful ending for all Deacon Aquarians. Okay, guys, I love you. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you are a new air sign, please hit subscribe.